For decades, people interested in the phenomenon are debating on how UFOs fly or do they even fly at all. In this video, we are going to take a look into this problem and assume that aliens are extraterrestrials and are coming from another solar system. In my first video, I was talking about interdimensional aliens, but now let's take a look into the other hypothesis. What if they are visiting us from very far away and how do they travel such a vast distances measured in light years? Many researchers are suggesting the exotic anti-gravity system that frees the craft from the force of gravity. This exotic propulsion system is required if we want the UFOs not to break the known laws of physics. In the 2004 Nimitz case, the Tic Tac UFO showed acceleration of 12,000 g-forces and speed over 100,000 miles per hour. No known material can sustain that force in the nature. But there's one way to go even faster than that, and that's if you move along the geodesics of space-time. In this video, I'll try to explain briefly what UAPTheory.com has speculated. I strongly recommend you to read the entire article, I will leave the link in the description. Geodesics are straight line on a curved surface. Curved spacetime also has geodesics and the International Space Station moves on one. That's why astronauts don't feel acceleration, are in zero gravity and in free fall despite the fact that they are moving with speed over 20,000 miles per hour. Geodesics are the natural path you take through spacetime if nothing pushes you elsewhere. So if UFOs are moving across the geodesics, they don't feel acceleration and can travel very fast. But because geodesics depend on the curvature of spacetime, they are fixed, so UFOs will need to have some exotic propulsion system that allows them to curve the spacetime into the required shape and create geodesics to move freely. According to general relativity, this would require a massive impossible amount of energy putting in particular places to wrap the spacetime. But with quantum theory and quantum gravity, this might change. Since 2009, some scientists argue that space turns out to be a network of quantum bits that are all entangled with each other. The amount of entanglement of two bits determines how close they are. More entanglement closer, less entanglement far away. We thus understand what space is, what distances in that space are and finally what motion really is. Motions are changes in the amount of entanglement of a quantum bit with all the others. This propulsion system would manipulate the spatial entanglement network and introduce curvature, thus enabling geodesic motion. So if we had a complete theory of quantum gravity, a complete description of the entanglement network, then we should be able to create technology to manipulate the network just as we can build quantum computers by knowing quantum mechanics. Some of the indicators that UAPs use gravitational propulsion systems are the round geometrical shapes with no preferred forward-facing direction and no wings or afterburners. The particles are moving along the curved geometry, avoiding the craft because UAPs create an envelope of vacuum so they can move without a friction both in the air and water or in the space. There are many eyewitnesses describing UAPs entering the water with high speed without creating huge splashes. As some videos suggest, we should see gravitational lensing around the UAPs when they maneuver as they must change the geometry of their distortion field to change their trajectory. If this optical effect is large enough, we should see the UAP change its shape as it accelerates or turns. We may also see the background of the UAP distorted in its vicinity. We don't see the UAP directly since we are always seeing it through the distortion field of the created vacuum, like an object in a distorted glass container so they may appear like they are surrounded by glass since light moves from air into that vacuum and then back into the air as it exits. A pilot can then have the false impression that the UAP is surrounded by glass. Ryan Graves reported that many pilots have witnessed the flying dark cubes inside a glass-like balls. There's more to this theory, so let me know if you want to see part 2. If you want to support my content, the best way is to like and share my videos and of course subscribe to my channel with notifications on. You can also find me on Twitter for more content and direct communication. See you in the next video.